Uh, do you think that's the most complete performance you guys have had in a little while in terms of ideas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In terms of ideas and chances created, I think so. Uh, it felt like we had a ton of possession and that we were really pushing them back. And, yeah, and the ideas were clear. The chances we were cutting out were pretty good chances. It was a shame to come in here at halftime down a goal because we had created some pretty good chances. We got gifted one early, but I told the team after, I think, whether they gifted us a goal early or not, regardless, we were going to come out of here with three points the way we were pushing the game. Did How much feel... did you need this game for the team's confidence? This is the first time you've won in a month. Yeah. And I know you... you... Guys, talked a good game, but yeah. winning. How yeah, winning is winning's always important. Sometimes when you play bad and you win, that's important too. Tonight, I thought we had a pretty good, you know, overall complete performance and got three points. So it's nice when those things go hand in hand because then uh, we feel like we can build off of this. But yeah, that's uh, it's important for us at this moment in the season. Did you feel like they were scrappy out there, New England against you guys, because they were fighting every bit of pitch against you? Yeah, we knew. Playing against New England, you know, we have goals for our team and, and uh, some of our micro goals that we have for the season are, are, are having winning records against our rivals. And so we knew coming into this game that playing games against New England are always tough. They're always pretty physical. Sometimes they get chippy. So we had to be up for the battle, and I thought we were. In the second half, you threw the armband off. What was that about? It was a new armband, and the Velcro was not. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I, I, I know it was, was no, it was falling off. So <laughs> I was just sick of fixing the Velcro every ten seconds. So I was done with it. You never want Sorry. to uh, make mistakes and give up goals or go behind early. But Jesse mentioned that he thought in the end it could be the best thing that happened to you guys that you were tested and had to respond. Is that something that he? Related to you guys, do you understand that line of thinking, or? I mean, I think that's just something he said because we won the game and came back. <laughs> to be honest, um, yeah, you never want to go down a goal, especially when you play at home, especially when teams start to bunker in. But yeah, the way I said it, uh, said it earlier, I just felt like regardless, we were going to come back and win this game. By the way, we just pushed it to the next play, the next play, the next play, and, and created chances. Did you feel that was you guys out there finally, 100% out there, feeling back the way you should be playing? Yeah, it felt pretty good. Um, last three years now, we've had pretty much the exact same start, points-wise, uh, and we've always been win good in the second, you know, two-thirds of the season, second half of the season. So now I hope the, the mentality just continues to grow. Uh, we just keep pushing this thing along. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure we're going to challenge for the Supporter Shield this season, but uh, I think we just need to keep getting ourselves better and really put ourselves in a playoff position so that anything can happen at the end of the year. There was some uh, in the media that were talking about your new captaincy versus your offensive uh, control and how you're trying to balance that. How did, you, how did that affect you today? Uh, you know, last couple of weeks I've been trying to talk less and just do more on the field. Uh, everyone has talked about how uh, not great I've been this season, which is a, a byproduct, I think, of uh, how good of a season Bradley and I had last season. Um, if you look at the statistics, I still think I lead the, the league in chances created. So I don't think I've been as bad as most people have said. Uh, I do feel like I, I have a little less weight on my shoulders now by trying to talk less on the field and coach less on the field and just play my game and try to bring people into the game around me and raise the level of my teammates just by my play, not by my talking. But I thought tonight was better. Thank you. Not to throw the cart in front of the before the horse, but obviously next month, outside of the road trip to Montreal, you're going to have two home games against New York City FC, especially in the Open Cup. Mm -hmm. uh, does this victory come at the right time before you get to those two matches? Yeah, that's that's important. I think going to Montreal is going to be a pretty big test for us, just the, the style of play and the way they match up against us, even though they haven't had a great start to the season. Um, but yeah, looking forward to the NYCFC games. Those ones are always fun. We've, we've had a pretty good record against them. Haven't played them in the Open Cup yet, so that's going to be an exciting matchup. And, and obviously, we want to go as far as we possibly can in the Open Cup. It's a short competition and uh, uh, four or five wins, and you're, you're playing for a trophy. So it's going to be a big one, going to be a fun one. Very, very much looking forward to it. What was the, the bigger, whatever you want to put? Challenge and head of that thing, whatever way you want. Uh, talking, coaching, having to bring younger guys along, all of that stuff that you just mentioned, or having to track back maybe 30 yards because you guys are having difficulty playing the ball. After well, a combination of both. A combination of both. We haven't been as good in possession, I don't think, in the, uh, this season so far. I think tonight was pretty good. Um, but yeah, you could see that I would tend to drop back more to try to get on the ball. And then other parts just worrying too much about what guys were or were not doing on the field. Uh, 
it's hard to pinpoint which one is more than the other, but I'd say it's pretty 50-50. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Thank you, guys.